I attended the 2015 Parliament of World Religions in Salt Lake City, and while I was there, I ran into some people I know from Salem, Mass., or they, at least they used to live here, Reverend Donald Lewis and Ed Hubbard, who are part of the Karelian nativist tradition. And that's a form of witchcraft which is uh, considers itself to be um, part of the uh, tradition of Wicca, one of the traditions of Wicca. It's an American uh, nativist tradition which has its sources back into the um, late 1800s, and so in that sense it predates Wicca as we know it. Uh, so I ran into Donald and Ed and talked to them about work that they're doing with other religions and asked them what they were doing there at the Parliament of World Religions. So here they are. Are we on? We're on. I'm Reverend Don Lewis from the Corellian Nativist Church, and I'm very pleased to speak to you today. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Just tell, why, why, why are you guys here? Why are you at the Parliament well, of World Religions? We have been why involved with the Parliament for a very long time. There, mm -hmm. there have been Corellians at pretty much all of the Parliaments, and we have been committed to the idea of interfaith work for most of our history. We're, we're right. great believers in the idea that spirit comes to all people in the way that is best for them. And therefore, we should recognize that spirit is in all religions, all peoples, all nations, all races, all, all, all people in the world. Right. And therefore, it's very good to speak to those people every now and then. Right. In order to, one, to know about them so that you're not acting from ignorance, and also to be friends wherever possible. And most often, one can be. Uh, we find that when we talk to people from other religions, we find much more in common than we find that actually separates us. And right. the parliament is particularly important in that respect, because when people come here, they're looking for their commonalities, not the things that separate them. Right. Now, now has the, uh, um, have, have you guys been involved directly with other groups in things that you do as a... On occasion. Uh, as a tradition, yeah. On occasion, yes. Yeah. What, uh, what are the groups you've been most involved with? Um, you say I, I, I have a lot. This is Edward. Okay, and so and so here's Ed Hubbard. Uh, uh, he's going to answer I, that question. My, my name is Ed Hubbard. <laughs> I've been at every parliament except the first one. Well, I may have been at the first one and reincarnated, though. <laughs> um, um, actually, I'm researching to see if one of our Corellians, uh, the, our founder, was actually at the 1893 Parliament. I'm doing research now into that, because she was at the Columbus Exposition. Um, some of the groups we've been involved with, we've been involved with the, we were, uh, uh, so some of the groups we've been involved with is, are including, uh, right now, as various churches. Uh, we've been involved with COPS, as, you know, church, uh, Unitarian churches. We've been involved with Baptist churches out of the city of Chicago. Uh, out of Evanston, which we're doing interfaith work. We've attended a number of parliament and entertainment events in the city of Chicago and around. Probably the most important people that we've worked with a lot is that we've worked with Baha'i on various uh, community gardens projects and various other types of projects. Uh, and last of all, we've done food collections a lot, a lot of, like almost everybody has done with various types of groups. Because we have over 80 groups in, in, across the United States and in other countries, we have a lot of individual efforts, so we constantly speak about interfaith. So, this is Ed Hubbard and uh, Donald Lewis, our Karelian friends at the yes. World Par Parliament of World Religions. Obviously, as a Christian pastor, I believe very differently than Ed Hubbard and Don Lewis, who I just spoke to. But I'm going to let their words speak for themselves, because I believe it's very important that we as Christians learn to treat other people with respect and that we learn that other people who believe other things are real people too. And so I hope you heard and learned and if you'd like to know more I've written a book that talks about some of these subjects. It's called Witches Are Real People Too. You can find it on Amazon.com. God bless.